What's up guys it's Manik back here with another video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how you guys can make a signature profile picture with something like that. Steven Wan is also having these type of profile picture but he have a very advanced uh, profile picture we can't make that in small video so yeah uh, for this uh, tutorial we need a two apps one is phone to and second one is photoshop touch uh, I have uh, leave the link both in down the description so you guys can download by the way Fonto is a free app you can download from google play or app store also but uh, photoshop touch is uh, not uh, free and not available in google play store or app store so let's get started first open the Fonto app uh, when you open the Fonto app it will load something like that then click on that photo button and then use plain image and then use any image i was using this black one so when you're done with that just click on that pencil mark and yeah type anything that you want to type let's i'm going to type manik m a n i k so yeah and put dot in like so and put space so for a, a signature type of thing there was a lot of fonts that you can use uh, there is a, you can download all the fonts from the font.com so first font that we have is a games um, you can use it for signature profile pic uh, this one is also a free font so yeah second one is a blow brush you can use that also third one is my favorite have heart one but this one is also a paid one but you can find a lot of tutorials on youtube how to get it for free so you can download that also uh, third one is levy brushed um, uh, there is a master of break there is a lot more also i will leave all down the description so that you will be able to download them so we, what we am gonna do is i'm gonna put uh, m capital a and i not capital and then k also a capital one so that we're going to look something like that so increase the size of that yeah and uh, have had one more because it have something called squash uh, these stuff um, this is the only in have heart one i don't know why but they only give it in have heart one so what you can do is if i tap m this will load up with this so yeah that was look that was make signature really come out more so let me increase the size when you guys done with that just you can make these type of things in photoshop touch also that squash thing when you're done with that just click on that uh, mark and save that now open the uh, photoshop touch wait 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 some more time wait wait some more time so yeah when this thing is open just click on that plus mark and black no comment and put 1000 by 1000 if you are making a youtube profile picture then put 500 by 500 so yeah when you're done with that just click on that plus mark and again plus mark then photo layer photo library oh man photo library uh when you're done with that just scroll bottom and click on fonto and click over image and add and click on that tick mark choose magic wand to uh, from here and click on that and clear when you done clear just go go click on here and clear so that is going to look something like that so just transfer it a bit make it a bit smaller but we will make it bigger also now just again i have transfer because that was too small now that was looking okay now select the bottom layer of the uh, blank document and then just uh, fill anything that you like i was going to put a black color but bit grayish that was type of thing but that was not looking cool let me put the game that was that was too much grayish type of let's put black back on there full black but you can put anything that you like that was looking okay to me so yeah that was looking okay when you're done with the, this whole thing what you have to do is go into the photo library and other stuff i have some uh, simple likes i will leave the link in the description that you can download also so when you're done with that just use i'm gonna use this one up here that was actually 
uh, pretty cool so I always use this one so that was the, my favorite one the white one so when you're done with that just uh, increase the size of that something like that and click on ok and decrease the opacity that was making my things more better so that was looking too cool uh, very good when you're done with that you can put gradient in I'm going to put this Canadian that was uh, normally this but you have to do that and that was something like that so you can put like that and when you're done with that you can decrease the opacity more because we don't want this thing to pop up more we don't want to yeah so when you're done with that just fill stroke gradient and then you're done with the gradient put this gradient the circle one gradient and that was, looks very cool so now go into your photo light really again i'm going to use one more simple light uh let's say which one we should use let's use this one this one looking okay red one so add and this will i will put on upper corner uh somewhere upper yeah that was looking cool isn't that that was looking very cool so decrease the opacity we don't want this also uh seeable but we want some now color balance the color that you like uh you can wait let me select the main layer uh let me merge these old stuff uh oh my god game message uh yeah so let me merge these uh first few what you have to do let me just change the color stroke and put a stroke to four to five four is okay to me and then drop shadow uh drop the shadow and the distance should be four not increase the distance that was looking okay to me don't don't put too much that was okay to me so when you're done with that that was looking cool just put some lightning on that so that makes silver type of things that was looking too cool so when you're done with that just select the bottom layer the black one and just this just uh, hide this there and just click on that and that and then merge visible when you're done with that your all layers will be merged now you can change the color by going into that but first we're gonna do is we're gonna select the whole layer uh, by a rectangle to make an empty layer and then put stroke with white color fill and fill and stroke so go into select color white and just put uh, 40 to 50 that was looking okay to me so yeah we can put this like that we can put more but overlay you can do overlay overlay looks pretty cool but for this tutorial i'm not gonna put overlay i'm going to just decrease the opacity to 15 percent that was looking okay to me when you're done with that now what you i'm gonna put a bit more of uh uh what you call that stroke where we're gonna put so that's looking okay to me and what we're gonna do is now is i'm gonna put black stroke in it also so that will outline the white stroke with black stroke that was looking cool and what you can do is you can put a drop shadow in that now select the bottom layer and change the color now that is the best part for the color that you like the color that you like is you can select that so that was pretty cool you can change mess around with settings to change the color i'm gonna use this one that was looking okay to me you can change it anytime as you want so as you guys can see in the thumbnail also there's a lot of things let me change again the color of this stuff right here what we gonna do that was not even changing a bit what the heck uh, that was not changing leave it just like this there and just color balance let me balance the colors again here's a green one green ones look amazing man the green one looks amazing and again you can change the color to bit i don't want that you you can you have to also mess around with settings uh, color balancing the color that you like to get the color that you like 
so from here these settings you can get all the colors but the setting things messing these three red uh, green and blue uh, is important you can do is curve the things don't want that much uh, that was okay to me so when you're done with that you can again just go into the uh, color balance and other stuff color changing color balance so that was the background that you like so when you're done with background this was the whole picture that you're gonna get so if you like this video guys please leave a like comment if you have any